everybody. Welcome to the Food Rebel Eats podcast. I'm Jody, and I'm here to teach you the truth about food. Understanding how my body works, how food works, and how we actually have all the power to create the health and the bodies that we want has changed my life. So I'm here to make this so simple, so clear, and to help you have complete certainty that you can have the healthy body that you deserve. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Food Rebel Eats podcast. Okay, this came up on a session that I was doing with a client the other day and I wanted to explain it um, just so that you fully understand what I mean when I say this certain phrase. So what I'm talking about is when I say your body is always working, you might be like, what the heck, Jody? No, it isn't. I've got gut issues. I've got weight I want to lose. I want to have a baby. I'm not getting pregnant. What in the heck does that mean? My body is always working. What I mean is that your – well, it is always working. That's what I mean. But here's here's how. Our bodies are always on. Our bodies are always set up, structured with the innate knowing of how to operate themselves so that health is created. This means more specifically because health health comes from the body naturally being able to easily and easily process, digest, and assimilate our food and utilize those nutrients that we take in. It means that our body naturally is capable of cleansing itself out and cleansing anything that it might have been born with, exposed to environmentally in the air, um, around us, from past foods we've taken in chemicals, et cetera. So these two things are huge. You have to be able to do a very good job of digesting the foods that you consume so that we can utilize those nutrients because, again, we have to have energy from food. If we didn't need to eat, we wouldn't need. We wouldn't need to eat, okay? But the reason we eat food is for our bodies to be able to work to create health for us. That's why we eat. And yes, there's reasons for like emotions and stuff, but that's not what I'm talking about right now, okay? So we eat food on purpose. I also say this all the time, and this is also ties in here. Eat on purpose. This means we're eating on purpose knowing that when we eat food, it is for these reasons of helping our body to be able to digest the food so that we can get the literal energy we need to live and so that our body has energy to work and thrive and to cleanse. And the foods that do this are the foods that are rich in glucose, fruits and the vegetables, okay? So your body is always working means that it's always set up to work. It's always doing its maximal effort best digesting the foods right this minute, right now with everything that's inside of it, with everything that you eat today, that you've already eaten today, with with the residual effects of everything you've eaten your entire whole life, and with the amount of toxin load that's currently inside of you. And it's like, it's factoring in like, how much digestive energy do I have? Do I have any extra energy that I can send towards cleansing? so that I can cleanse more things out and therefore get ahead in health, be a, be healthier than I was today, okay? That's what I mean. So that means your, your entire digestive system is functioning, your liver is not overloaded or stagnant, in it, but it is, it's helping the cleansing process as its maximal primary duty, which it always is, but it's either overloaded or it's capable, more capable of helping you cleanse things out, okay? So even in this moment, if your liver is very taxed and tired and stagnant, which most people's are if you're dealing with any, well, you it is if you're dealing with health issues. Most people's are even if you don't see them yet. Like unless you're eating on purpose, you're not helping out your liver. 
okay? And so you could you could be in the boat of any kind of disease, any kind of sickness, infertility, bloating, IBS, gut issues, eczema, whatever. Your body is working 100% at its best this moment right now. If you don't see dominantly that you are vital, vibrant, clear skin, healthy gut, full of energy, sleeping easily, sleeping well, unless you have a baby, um, you know what I mean? Things working, no, no diagnoses, things like that. That means your body needs you to help it because, like I said, it's always doing its jobs. So if it can't do its jobs to a better ability than is being shown to you in this moment, that means it's on you now, okay? It's our job to always help our bodies, always. And we sh- we're not, I'm not yelling at you. I'm not trying to blame you. I'm, I always... I, I blamed myself for this. The thing is, when you realize how this works and you realize the information that we're being fed from birth to young children, like, oh my gosh, we're, you know, you've got to eat, drink your milk or your bones are going to break, then, you know, that's not true. That's not true. And so you've been told so many things that aren't true. And so we, we don't know how our bodies work. But now we do know how our bodies work and keep listening to my episodes on my YouTube channel if you want to understand this better because it's everything, right? So a a symptom, a condition, pain, chronic illness, infertility, these things are messages from your body to you saying, I have reached my peak energy capacity. I cannot do all the jobs that I have to do every single day, digest, assimilate, process, break down your food, help you poop, eliminate things, you know, help cleanse every channel of elimination, you know, clean out old hormones and all of this stuff. I can't do any more than I'm showing you that I can do right now without a change from the outside in. The change from the outside in is this awareness and that we come to the understanding and the knowing that, okay, this means I have to to make shifts that allow better digestion and that allow more efficient cleansing, okay? In the most simple ways that I can explain this to you, it is to one, build your food, um, build your food, build your meals out of mostly plants, mostly fruits and vegetables, They are the foods that are easy to digest. They are the foods that cleanse. Win-win. Win-win-win is they taste really good. You get to be healthy. Second, um, in order to accelerate cleansing and boost digestion, you would want to reduce fat and reduce protein. Okay, so definitely stop eating animal products in the morning. Like that's really halting the process. I'm going to do a separate episode on just like digestive energy spin. But, you know, cut down. One of the biggest things that I would recommend that you guys do if you're not already doing this is to drastically eliminate or minimize oils in your diet. So, um, and if you are using an oil, make sure that it is something like um, olive oil, avocado oil, or a coconut oil cold pressed. And you like, we don't need these things in our bodies. Okay. And they're so saturated and they're so dense and fats are going to slow the process of healing down and they're going to slow the digestive process down. So that's one way that we can really take workload off our bodies. And again, signs, symptoms, diagnosis, disease states, conditions that those are messages. I need help. Stop eating so much fat. Don't eat processed foods or stop eating as many processed foods. More real foods, more alive foods, more raw foods, more colorful foods, more plant-rich foods. Okay. And so yeah, the top two ways on this for this short episode would be to take away oils, really minimize oils, start cooking with water, steaming, sauteing, um, 
air frying. You can watch any of my recipes are going to be low fat. All my YouTube channel cooking videos will fall in line with this. Um, any of the recipes that I have on my separate Instagram, which is at Food Rebel Eats, or on my main account, okay? So it's really bringing your body to life by life-giving foods. That's what we have to do. That's what we have to know. So it's not that your body doesn't work. It's that it's at maximum capacity, and it needs us or it needs you right now to be the one to make the next move. You make the move, and your body responds. Your body has always been responding, but there's a tipping point. And at a certain point, it goes more into survival mode than showing you radiant health. And that's all that's happened. And it can sound kind of like very scary, I'm sure, but it comes back so quickly, you guys. So just trust that and know that no matter what you're dealing with, this is what's going on inside, okay? So you make the next move, okay? If you need any support with that, you can check my website for courses, cleanses, uh, resets, and coaching options, okay? I'm so happy to help you. I want you to be empowered. I want you to know how this works. And I'm, I just really wanted to clarify what I mean when I say that your body's always working. So now you know, now you can make your next moves. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.